I want to start off this video by saying please do not pre-order Black Ops 6. Black Ops 6 is a game that seems very promising but might end up not fulfilling that promise. What I'm trying to say is Black Ops 6 seems to be like every single Call of Duty now and the changes that they are making to this year's game is some changes that we've been asking for and we wanted for a long time. Modern Warfare 2019 changed so many key features and is probably the worst game in the series by far. And what I'm trying to get at is that they're returning these features into this year's Call of Duty, but these are features that we never asked to be taken out. These are features that they're using to market their game, which is actually pretty insane to me. That's what they did with Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 2 2022 was a game that was very diverse and changed up a lot of things. And Modern Warfare 3 literally took that and used it against Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3 is a big DLC. We all know this, but they marketed the game as these features changed in this game and that was literally a lot of good things for what they did. Uh, Sledgehammer really changed up a lot of the features that we didn't like in Modern Warfare 2, added perks, added a lot of different changes to the movement and those are things that we wished could have been in Modern Warfare 2 but instead we had to pay $70 for those changes in Modern Warfare 3. Quick side note guys, also in the same reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, there's people at the comments section even saying themselves to not pre order the game and it's actually insane guys that they're marketing prestige some new movement changes they're changing all kinds of things that we've wanted for quite a while and that's the marketing for black ops 6 i'm a big time black ops fan black ops 2 being my personal favorite black ops game but i think now that i'm older and i value my money more i don't know if i'm really going to be picking up black ops 6 i do have to look at some reviews because i just don't want to play a game where i'm skilled up against players that are my level and I have to pretty much be a sweat and go against them and I'm exhausted from that man I've been doing this for too many years now with the same Call of Duty design the same feeling for every map it's not really the same anymore Call of Duty hasn't really hit in a few years for me personally guys I really tried with Black Ops Cold War I really tried with Modern Warfare 3 and 2 but these games just don't feel what Black Ops 2 felt anymore and maybe it's just nostalgia, but at the same time, maybe it's game design. I'm not really too sure. I have a lot of mixed feelings on the current state of Call of Duty, but I really employ you guys not to pre-order the game. I really would rather you guys save your money and wait till the game is discounted or even see a review if you're curious about how the game looks and handles. And by the way, the reason I'm making this video is I feel as this is the thing that happens every single year and i just want to make it very apparent for some people like i want to make it more obvious like hey call of duty is doing the same thing activision has these systems in play so you buy more skins that you buy all this bundles and all this like dude we've seen this before like it's totally dumb at this point and it's a big waste of money i employ you guys to really try to do research and try to see if this is the game that you're gonna be playing i wonder if people are actually gonna like not cop out this year but me i don't know even know if i'm gonna buy it myself but other than that guys that's gonna have to wrap it up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out